Well, another day in the life of a travel agent and um, kind of a bittersweet story uh, that un has unfolded in the last couple of days. Um, I know I um, tell you that uh, my uh, clients are friends and family and uh, loved ones and um, this story is in regards to my niece sweet sweet couple um, she and her husband just got married on Saturday had this beautiful outdoor wedding at uh, um, his Opa and Oma's farm. Uh, they've had their honeymoon planned for months now um, and very excited to be going to Ireland. Uh, they staying in Dublin a few nights. Um, they've got a car rental. They're doing some bed and breakfast. They've got a castle stay and then they were flying over to Amsterdam to see some of his family and um, from what I knew they were both really excited. They're uh, good travelers. Uh, my niece has traveled extensively and her uh, new husband has traveled uh, in the past as well. They are just the sweetest little couple. They've got um, two dogs that were all part of the wedding and even at their wedding they uh, got a donkey as a gift. In any case, um, they um, got married Saturday and the plan is to leave today, Wednesday. So I got a text late last night about 10.30 um, from Katie just saying, um, Aunt Marion, what's our options? We might have to change our tickets or cancel, which um, put me in complete shock because um, I had just talked to her the day before and I knew how excited they were for this adventure. But um, it seems her new husband um, just out of the blue that evening um, was having a panic attack and um, he wasn't really sure what brought it on, whether it was, you know, going away for so long, leaving their loved dogs or fear of flying or, you know, he really didn't know what it was. And my husband's had a panic attack before and it's horrible. It feels like you're having a heart attack and it's just the worst thing in the world. So. Um, you know, this sweet little couple were just trying to uh, figure out what they could do. Of course, they weren't going to go, you know, um, and uh, risk um, him not being well when they were over there. So um, I was, um, you know, feeling fortunate that I could answer some questions and hopefully just comfort them a little bit in, you know, just the uh, anxiety of what was uh, unfolding. So uh, I was able to get a hold of the insurance company number one to find out if an anxiety attack would be covered with the insurance, which unfortunately it's not um, any emotional um, situation is not covered with insurance, only unforeseen medical reasons. So then, you know, we looked at changing the name on the ticket, which is an international ticket so uh, we know that that's not an option um, we looked at canceling completely because with the insurance there is a clause that you can cancel for any reason whatsoever but it has to be at least 48 hours prior to departure and we were already within 24 hours of departure so a lot of back and forth and um, I know they had a sleepless night um, I had just um, tentatively booked um, my niece's girlfriend to travel with them just in the thoughts that maybe um, you know she was would be able to take the time um, we had her name and date of birth um, but we knew full well that uh, if there had to be any changes you know the flights may not be available in the morning so first thing in the morning um, my niece had texted me and said she had um, a girlfriend um, not the one that we had booked the night before that was going to travel with her and she came in first thing um, her husband still just you know not uh, able to travel but happy for her that she she could still go. Um, I know it's his family in the Netherlands that they had intended to see and um, we even tried to make changes to that but it just wasn't an option. So we were able to book her young friend who uh, is traveling with her and is going to comfort her through this honeymoon. <coughs> Excuse me. And I know they're going to have an amazing time but it just gave me um, just a comfort to know that I could be there for her and just hopefully calm her and comfort her in the knowledge that these sorts of things happen and had we not had 
um, the relationship of me being her travel professional. You know, who knows what would have transpired last night, and um, I know they wouldn't have had any options. So this morning we were able to change um, the ticket, change the name on the car rental. I was able to email all the hotels to let them know. Um, it... it um, it was just um, also a convenience to have all the um, computerization available at my fingertips last night that I could contact the insurance company. I had access to their UMAP, to their itinerary, to their record locators, to um, their policy numbers. So um, it is um, a godsend to be in this day and age of technology being available. Um, but also just a blessing to, I think both of us, I know she felt comforted that she knew I was looking at every single um, possibility and situation for them. And um, she just stopped and picked up um, her friend's tickets. They're on the way to the airport. Her husband's driving her. And I think, you know, in the end, um, she's not calling it a honeymoon anymore. It's just a you know, a holiday that uh, she certainly deserves after uh, organizing such a, a beautiful honeymoon. And um, I know her husband will be uh, home and able to watch her journey throughout with the UMAP and texting and emails. And, uh, you know, we know he'll be safe. Um, the dogs will be happy at home with uh, their daddy and um, that uh, my niece and her friend will be doing their best to enjoy the journey um, and um, to realize that we do get these hiccups in life and I just uh, you know was so proud of her that um, she was accepting of you know what had unfolded and um, that she will absolutely still enjoy the journey and uh, make plans to uh, have a honeymoon when the time is right. So uh, maybe that will be with a baby, two dogs and a donkey, and uh, it will be what they both will be comfortable doing. So um, again, this is Marion at Elgin Travel and Cruises, proud to be a travel professional and just another day in the life.